hi fourth grade i miss you i hope you're doing well um this is your project for the week so you're going to get two options here depending on what kind of paper you have at home we are going to be drawing succulents which are some of my favorite plants and cactus or cacti um, in a flower pot that you make very creative and amazing on your own so you have two options here if you have just plain white paper at home do this one um, this one over here is on black construction paper which i think is pretty cool the only tricky thing about that one is that if you don't have let me find it again here um, you need black construction paper you need bright crayons or oil pastels. So if you have that, great. If not, just stick with this one. So what we're gonna do to start is we're gonna start with just white paper. Um, I would recommend starting with a pencil, but I am going to use a Sharpie so you can see it just like in class, okay? So I'm going to move this a little bit. So on my white paper near, kind of in the middle, not too close to the top. So here's the top just so you can see it. Um, I'm in the middle of the paper. I'm going to start by drawing one of the succulents. So a succulent is a plant that has a lot of little layers. So I'm just going to start with a little circle. That's pretty easy. Um, and then around there, I'm going to make these little C shapes or like they look like little petals. So right now it's going to look like a flower, but I don't really want it to look like a flower. So we're going to keep adding layers around this and you want to keep your little petals kind of short and small and you want them to overlap each other. And you can see how I'm going around that center part. I'm gonna keep going around and around and I'm gonna keep doing that until I create a more full looking plant. If you don't know what I'm talking about, if you've never seen a succulent, um, go to Home Depot, they have them there and they're actually really pretty. And they have like all different kinds. Um, they also have them like at any, you know, plant store that you go to. They have fake ones too in the Target dollar aisle sometimes. Okay, so I'm going to make mine a little bit bigger. It's kind of small. So I'm just going to keep going. You can make your petals a little bit bigger on the sides, on the edges, once you get to that point. Okay. Keep going here. Keep going. All right, maybe like one or two more. Okay, so now that I'm done with my succulent, I'm pretty happy with it. I'm gonna make my flower pot underneath here. So here's the bottom of my paper. And underneath of my succulent, I want it to look like it's in the flower pot. So to create that effect or that illusion, I need to make the top of the flower pot, that wasn't very straight. The top of the flower pot needs to be slightly underneath of or right next to the succulent. I would recommend if you have a ruler, use it, or if you have a straight piece of paper that you can put there use that i'm just going to wing it so i'm going to make the edges just like two little curved lines just like that um, and then underneath of there i'm just going to draw another straight line and that's just the the top part of my flower pot it's like the lip of the flower pot okay after i do that move down a little bit here um, then i want to go ahead and draw the sides of my flower pot so I would recommend drawing the bottom of the flower pot first just to give you an idea of where that's going to go and then you can draw the sides by going from the top to the bottom just like that so now that i have my succulent and my flower pot i'm going to add a little plant over here on the side so to draw the plant very easy i'm just going to draw over here on the side i'm going to draw a curved line that just kind of comes up and over the succulent like that and then I'm gonna make, curve it at the top, and then I'm gonna make another line right next to that one. So that kind of looks like the stem. On the stem of that plant, I'm gonna start drawing leaves. So your leaves can kind of go out. You're just doing two curved lines that meet at a point. 
So go ahead and do a bunch of those. Add a bunch of those onto your plant. They can overlap with the succulent. You can make as many as you want. You don't have to do the exact same number that I'm making. Anytime we do an art project, you're in fourth grade, you want it to be nice and neat. And you also do not want it to be sloppy or scribbled. So it's very important that you take your time and you do a good job. There we go. So that one's looking good. Go out and over it. And then we'll do one right on the end here. So there we go, looking good. We made our little plant. I have a little bit of space right here on this side, so I wanna fill that in. I wanna make a little cactus on that side. So for my cactus, I wanna draw like an upside down U shape that slightly overlaps my succulent. So it's gonna look like it's behind the succulent. It's gonna go like right in here. So I'll start on the top of the flower pot and I'll just do a line that goes up and around like that. And then I wanna to add to my cactus. I don't want it to just be like boring and plain. So at the top there, I'm gonna make one little, another little curve view and there's another one. And then I think we'll make one over here. I'll fill this space in over here on this side. And then I'll make one more right here. And then to really make it look like a cactus, because it just looks like it has ears right now, um, I want to make some little things that look like prickers. There's a couple ways you can do that. Um, I, I think it looks good if you just go through and make tiny little marks like that. That looks like it has little prickers. I would make some that stick off of the edge like that to give it more of that cactus look, just like that. You can also do some that are like that, like an X. Um, but I think it looks good when you just do little dashes like that. So that would be good for the cactus. And then the last part, before you start anything with color, down here on the flower pot, you want to creatively design or decorate your flower pot. This is just boring and plain right now. So I'm going to make a couple of lines and patterns on my flower pot. So I just have a wavy line on that one. My next line is just going to be a straight line. So it looks pretty good. A um, little crooked again, but... You know, do your best. Wavy line. And I think my next one will be another straight line at the bottom. And that'll look good. So this is part one of your cactus and succulent drawing. Part two is going to be how to add color. See you soon. Nice job.